Okay, so hey you guys, it's me Morgan, and today I'm going to tell you about all about my hair. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions about it, which I figured I would because it's different. This is very different. I've never done this before, you know, I'm used to like the curly hair, and that's basically it. So I went to Mexico the past week, and I needed some kind of, you know, like protective, I can jump into cenotes and swim in the ocean type hair right so i was researching everywhere 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 um trying to figure out what kind of get so at first i was going to get goddess locks and those are very expensive to get done right so i was like you know searching on youtube and then i found a girl um i found jazz nicole and makabi i think that's how you say her name makabi m-a-k-e-b-a and they had um, crocheted faux locks. I never done crochet before. So I was like, hmm, this seems easy enough for me to do. So I called my friend up, Kiana, and um, we did my hair together. So um, if you are familiar with crochet, basically you cornrow your hair back and use a crochet needle and you get the hair and you loop it in and you tie it and bam, you're done. So I did want the front to look natural. So I do have it individual in the front. I have two rows of individual um, crochet faux locks in the front. And I know I'm not that smart sometimes. I literally forgot to take a picture or record it. I think I might have a picture of what the braid pattern looks like. But I didn't record it just because it was my first time doing it and it literally took me like two days to completely figure it out now the whole process took like three hours to do which is not long at all but i realized i was doing the front wrong so the back crochet part was simple easy piece of cake there was no mess up there it was the front that i was having issues with so there's a certain way you have to t um, twist the hair i will reference the videos below because i am not the one to give a tutorial on this trust me it took me days to figure out the correct way okay so i'll link that below but i did want to show you guys what hair i use for my faux lux. so i use this right here and this is a new locks you can see hopefully you can see i did get a new camera so the autofocus is so much better um so yeah this is the new locks this is what i got and it comes in this package so it's basically packaging like this you know beauty supply store hair and the hair looks like this right here so it does come pre-looped so there's a loop at the top of it and yeah that's basically it these are super 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 soft like it's ridiculous how soft they are and they all look different so they're like special you know they um are not uniform the same way they're all they all look different so i literally use the hair and <laughs> this crochet needle so there's a pre-looped hook up here that you put through and you know you do your thang thang which i'm not going to show you the thang thang because i didn't do a good job at thang thang so that's why i linked the people below for the thang thang okay so um so yeah so the hair was 7.99 a pack so eight dollars a pack and i got six packs i have a really big head so i used six packs of hair so it was like 48 dollars and then tax um i used the color that I'm so upset that I'm messing her name up. Ma Cubby. Ma, Ma Kibi. Ma, Ma okay, I used exactly the same colors that she used. Um, I forgot what colors I got. I think it was, I got two number twos. No. I got two number twos. Yeah, two number twos, three number fours, and one pack of the blonde colored one which was a 20 I forgot I'll link it below what colors I use um and then I got these little trinkets to decorate my hair with because I think they're fabulous but I did use all six packs of hair now my friend Kiana she was helping me put the locks in the back crocheting them in the back because I can't see 
back of my head because I don't have eyes back there. If you really wanted to do it yourself, you can, but I don't like taking forever to do my hair. So I literally just, you know, had her help me. It was faster in the front. The front was probably like the longest part to do, but it's cool. But I had these in since May 30th, 2017. It is now June 19th, 2017. So I almost had them in for a month. Um, I think I'm gonna take them out this week. I'm not sure, like half of me wants to take them out. Half of me doesn't just because they are so convenient. Like I don't have to worry about anything. I can go swimming with them. So I might just keep them in for who knows how long because I don't feel like doing my hair. It is the summertime, I'm off, I can go to the pool, I can swim with these, whatever. Um, so yeah, so this is probably the only hairstyle I do wear. I wear this hairstyle and I wear my hair in a ponytail when I go to the gym. And then if I'm out or whatever, I might wear it in a side ponytail. But I really don't like them all the way down on me. Um, I don't know, I just don't. I might still explore some more hairstyles, but for now on, this is my favorite hairstyle and if you guys want me to show you how I did get this hairstyle which is super easy please thumbs the video up and let me know but yeah that's basically it um I'm gonna turn around so you can see the back of it of it also so here's that side view right there and here's the back All right, so, so I will say that this hair is very, very lightweight and I did go swimming in the ocean with it. I did go swimming in the pool with it. I went swimming in the cenote and fresh water with it. I went swimming with it in underground cave and it was perfectly fine. I only washed my hair one time since I had this. Um, and I'm gonna show you guys what I used to wash. Okay, so I use this right here, and this is Ren Pure Advanced Tea Tree and Sage Shampoo. So I did shampoo my hair with this because I was in the ocean, I was in the pool. So that's the last time I washed it. Um, so tea tree is like smoothing, calming, tingling. Um, it gets all the stuff out. So I did use this. I got this at Target. Um, but that worked really well and I did put like a leave-in conditioner on my scalp throughout my hair. Um, my braids are like coming up because it's been a long time since I had these things in. But yes, but when I was in Mexico, um, a lot of people really liked my hair and these people were from the UK uh, mainly. There were some Americans there but there were a lot of people from like Europe and they would just stare at me like they'd never seen somebody like me before. But then somebody was like, oh my God, I love your hair, it's so pretty. And I told them that it wasn't real and they were like, oh my gosh. So um, I guess depending on your hair history and hair knowledge, you might think that these are real or you might not depending on your level of hair history and knowledge. So yeah. So um, I'll leave the links to the hair below the links to my inspirational YouTube gal is below and the stuff I used on the hair um, and I will come back and make a video on how I styled this um, half up half down bun. So if you guys like this hair please let me know. Um, if there's another hair because I do want to try crochet again if there's another hair that's like really awesome that I should try please let me know below and thank you guys for watching my videos and I'll see you next time bye